One of my favorite books is How to Keep Your Volkswagen Alive. I love the art so much that I bought a septic book illustrated by the same Peter Ashwanden, even though I don't even have a septic. The absolute most memorable thing from any book is the hiccup trick. This trick involves plugging your ears while sitting down to a tall glass of water and sit through a straw till you think you'll explode. Trust me, this works 100% of the time. It doesn't have anything to do with keeping your VW alive or mechanics in general, but it's one of the coolest parts of the book. In this vein, I bring you the flywheel kettlebell. I've been trying to get a hold of various kettlebells for a while, but no one has them locally. At least nothing in heavy weights. I was reading The 4-Hour Body by Tim Ferriss, and he has a great DIY option called a T-handle that you put plate weights onto. I was searching for plates, and there were none to be found locally, and online was crazy expensive. I had a thought. What about using all those junk Subaru and VW flywheels I had laying around? And so, here it is. Here's my DIY kettlebell using flywheels and plumbing equipment, a la Tim Ferriss and the 4-Hour Body. So, it's got the floor flange, three quarter inch steel pipe, T, two four inch uh, pipe nipples, and I have a Subaru flywheel and two VW flywheels. This is just a clamp for radiator hose, heater hose. Makes it super easy and you just twist it off, uh, switch out weights. <laughs> this combo is 61 pounds. 17 pounds this one down here is 19 this subaru one is 22 pounds so this assembly weighs about three pounds so i can't find plate weights at all locally and costs an arm and a leg to ship and they're expensive and i had a bunch of flywheels around thought hey those look a lot like weights <laughs> so i thought i'd give it a shot and it works really well start saving all your junk flywheels or go to a transmission shop if you don't have any and build yourself a t-handle for cheap